This is the name of the Creator as it was originally written in real Hebrew. The square script that you normally see that's called modern Hebrew is really Aramaic that came from Babel. And, uh, you know, it came back with Nehemiah Nik and uh, Nehemiah and Ezra and when they were, you know, rebuilding the walls of the city. By the way, at the order, at the order of an expense of Koresh, which was, uh, they call him Cyrus, uh, Koresh is, uh, was the king over there. And anyway, I wanted to mention that there's a new article that some of you may have heard of. It's called Doers of the Word. And I encourage you to download this free at torzone.net and lamblegacyfoundation.com. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. I hope I get to talk to Doris today. Wow. Are you there? Yes, this is Lou White. Okay, this is for uh, the Corey show, right? Yes, it is. Okay, hold on. Put you on hold and she'll get to you in a minute. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother. As Yahweh your Elohim has commanded you, Israel. That your days may be prolonged, and that it may go well with you, Israel, in the land which Yahweh your Elohim gives you, Israel. You, Israel, shall not murder, neither shall you, Israel, commit adultery, neither shall you, Israel, steal, neither shall you, Israel, bear false witness against your neighbor, neither shall you, Israel, desire your neighbor's wife, neither shall you, Israel, desire your neighbor's house, his field, his manservant, his maidservant, his ox, his ass, or anything that is your neighbor's. Shalom, Brother Lou White. Shalom, how are you? I am greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved, and the Almighty Yahweh still reigns on this beautiful 27th day of July, the last month for this broadcasting. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> well, we have to remember the passing of a, of a brother. You remember uh, he just died about a week ago? Yes, Mr. Brad Scott. Yes. I never got to meet him, but I enjoyed and agreed with his teachings. And uh, he was a very, very good teacher. So. Yes. He served you well. And, um, and then uh, Jim Staley got out of prison, which is a wonderful thing. Wow. Yes. yes. I'm rejoicing. Hallelujah. And there's a, a song in my heart, if I can interrupt you right there before you can begin your teaching or whatever the Holy Spirit's put in your heart. Yeah. And it says, I got the joy, 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 joy in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy that I've got the love of Yeshua in my heart. So I just want to say that and go ahead with whatever it is the Ruger has given you to speak. To well, I, I had just finished a, an article or a tract that has four pages to it. And... I put these out about once a month if I can. But this one's entitled The Doers of the Word. And it's about not being a hearer only, but to that would be deceiving yourself if you just believe, because even demons believe. And what I wanted to emphasize is that there's evidence that the doers are alive today. And uh, we are known by a particular term that Arabs and Israelis and scripture agrees with in the Hebrew. And you know what that is? We're called Nazarim at Yermiyahu chapter 31 verse 6. Nazarim branches of his teachings, you know, I am the vine, you are the Nazarim. He named us. And the Arabs mark their houses of Christians because they don't call them Christians. They call them Nazrani, which is their word for Nazarene. The crescent and the star is actually the symbol that is the letter N in the Arab's uh, alphabet. And in Israel, the Israelis call Christians, whether they're Pentecostals, Catholics, Evan evangelicals, Christians, whatever. They call them Notsreem. Now, don't those three words sound similar? Notsreem and not Notsreem 
And then, of course, in the Arab language, we're called Nasrani. And these ends that keep appearing are actually scriptural uh, you know, indicators that we're actually not calling ourselves the right term, but we've inherited a Greek-rooted kind of identity and <laughs> behavior as well. But what we're doing is we're restoring back the true name of the Creator, the true name of the Mashiach, the true name of ourselves. We're identified and we're we're finally released from the bondage of ignorance and the truth is not necessarily um, it's, it, it's very scary for a lot of teachers because they they have to adjust and shift and and of course I've noticed that there's people attacking us the Hebrew roots movement is like a very scary thing and uh, not for the people that are discovering the truth but the, the people that want to stay where they are second Peter chapter 2 verse 2 says that the truth is maligned, you know, and would be in the last days even more so. And the, uh, <clears throat> when Yahushua returns, will he find Amana on the earth? That's actually a question that he asked. And I think he will, because it's going to be very, very few people that will, and I'm not saying that this is Gnosticism or anything, that's, that's another issue. But we know his name. And that five wise virgins know the name, they obey their husband. The five unwise virgins are just too sleepy. And they're, they're sleeping through the teachings or something, and they're, they're not waking up. And I think that represents the first resurrection and the second resurrection at the end of the thousand years. They're not the bride. The bride is awake and wants to know their husband's name and is searching for it and I think it's an exciting time to be alive Amen, Amen Anyway, what is Amana? Uh, Habakkuk Imuna in Hebrew Yeah, Amana they call it Enuma a lot of times it's not. It's spelled with an A Aleph but Aleph. Amana is the feminine form of the word Amen it's, Amen Amen is three letters in Hebrew and it means truly Hallelujah. I agree. Yeah, it's a it's affirmation, but amana is the feminine form of this same word. It just adds an H at the end. Four letters, and it means steadfastness in the truth or steadfast Amen. trust. You're trusting. You know this is true in your heart, and you live it out. I hear Christians say, "Live it out." <laughs> well, what are you living out? You know the traditions that they're teaching you, like Halloween and. Christmas and wreaths and trees and uh, all the things that are, are beautiful things, but they're very ugly to Yahuwah. Well, we're not trying to hear the traditions. We want to hear his word, his yeah. living word that is a wellspring of life. And I just want to encourage people to get back to your Hebrew roots. Habakkuk chapter 2, uh, verse 4, I think it is, that the righteous or the upright will live by is Amuna or Amana. Amana is the trust and he'll live that trust and it'll be true. Thanks for letting me be on your show. And you know, align with what you said, I was just encouraging my Ema just this whole week. And you know, I was just enlightened by her life. My mother has lived out to the fullest. I know my mother nothing else but being a saved woman. I don't remember any of her past, even though she's told me about it, I don't remember it. So oh. what you've just put forth here about letting people see the Imunah, the, the light, and the, the Word, which is Yeshua Himself, the living Torah, we, we, we have a lot to go on. Yeah. And I do appreciate you, Brother Lou, for your faithfulness and for the work that you're doing. And, and also, Sister Phyllis, you guys have done a great thing. You've been persistent like Brother, um, Brother Scott and his wife, Sister Aunt, uh, I think it's named uh, Elisa or Allison. Allison. I praise y'all for the work that they've begun and that it's still going forth and I see that same work within me because I found myself going over some of his teachings and it's very clear now. I, I was thinking about the stone that the builders rejected at mm -hmm. uh, Psalm 118 verse 26. What would the stone the builders rejected be when he was coming in on the donkey and he was be, be basically being selected as the lamb on that tenth day of the first month? 
And that would be the name because that was what they were all in an uproar about. What? They're saying the name. And he was, they were quoting from that very text about the stone that had, the builders had rejected would become the chief cornerstone. And they were saying Baruch Haba Bashem Yahuwah. And they were okay. saying the name, the four vowels. Alleluia. And they're going, what? You're saying the name. Rebuke your Talmudim. Thank you guys for tuning in to uh, Crazy Love with Zakoria and Mr. Blue White. Thank you. Y'all bless you guys and Baruch Haba Bashem Yeshua.